Praise the Lord, church. Prophet Okumbo Abraham Kenneth of the Assembly of Brethren, USA. I came to bless you again today, and I pray that God will keep your ears open and your eyes open. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Stay within the context of the Word of God. From Genesis 1 to Revelation 22. The Bible has 66 books. 39 in the Old Testament and 27 in the New. Stay with the context of the Word of God. The scripture says, Though we or an angel from heaven should preach or teach any other gospel than that which we the apostles have preached, let him be accursed. Jesus Christ of Nazareth overcame every enemy, every foe, including Satan in Luke chapter 4, by the word of God, by his word, it is written. Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. It is written. Man shall not live by bread alone. It is written. The word of God is how he overcame the enemy of his life. That is our master, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Not William Abraham. Not Apostle Paul. Not Kenneth Okumbo. Not anybody who called himself man of God or woman of God in this generation. Jesus the Christ is your master. He is my healer. Sent me and told me that I should stay within the context of the word. From Genesis chapter 1 to Revelation 22. Now, child of God, in these last days, we say last days, but it is not actually last days, but we say latter times. Revelations, uh, uh, Matthew 24, verse 6, yeah, the Bible say that the end is not yet. And Matthew 24, 14 also, this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all of the world, and then shall the end come. So we are not yet in the end times. These are latter times. These are dangerous days, yes. We are seeing the signs, yes. But the end is not yet. For all I know as a child of God, by the grace of God upon my life. The world may end tomorrow. Or it may end 1,000 years from now. Who knows? The Bible says in Mark 13, 32. That of that day and hour. Knoweth no man. Know not the angels of heaven. But my father only. And who is the father of our Lord Jesus Christ? The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is the father of of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the church will say, Amen. Now, do not let any wizard, any witch, any wicked man, wicked woman anywhere, don't let them deceive you. This generation, God has begun something new. And God is saying that what he is about to do, it will, be, it will be something that the church has never seen before. The people shall be shocked. Men shall be disgraced, some embarrassed. The wicked shall sit down in silence because God is taking over his church. Child of God, stay with the word. Don't leave the word of God. Compare what any man says with God's word. Go deeper in his word. And the God that made the heavens and the earth, he will defend you day and night. Isaiah 40 verse 8, the grass will wither, the flower will fade, but the word of the Lord will stand forever. God bless the church. Amen and amen.